What up, what up, what up? This is Pastor G on this early Monday morning. This is March the 12th. I wanted to get you early this morning before you got off into your day. This is going to be a very challenging week for so many, but it's going to be a very rewarding week. And I needed to inspire you. This is uplift before the lunchtime uplift. I wanted to catch you because there's so many of you preparing right now to go into this very, very, I did say challenging week. I want to share something with you. And I want to inspire you because this is going to be an incredible day for you. I was reading in John, uh, 1 John 4.4. 4, it says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's a very interesting passage of scripture to me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. This just suggested to me that there is two he's that are in me. Now, what I must first understand is who is the he that is in me. Of course, I know that that is the spirit of God. That's the power of God, the unlimited power of God. That is the, the discerningness of God. As Hebrew 4 says that he can discern all spirit. It's the omnipresence of God. That's the he that is in me. But it also suggests that, that there's a me or there's a he that is about to enter into a very challenging work week. That is so interesting. But he says, be reminded that the he that is in you is greater than the he that is about to go to work today, the, that is about the to, to be challenged by people through the things that they're about to say to you. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The he that is about to enter into the world is an iffy. It's a it's an iffy me. Uh, uh, the he that is about to enter into the world is an emotional he. Don't, 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 get, you got to get this. Now, the he that's inside you is immaculate and perfect, but the he that is about to enter into the world is an iffy, uh, a sometime he. You got to get this. Now, he's talking about you. He's talking about what you possess on the inside and what you are about to experience on the outside. And he wanted me to let you know that today, you are going to be faced with some challenges and they're going to be some difficult challenges. But listen, the he that's inside you, the greater one is undefeated and it has no rival. But the he that is in the world is very challenged. It's very emotional. But here's the thing. Every challenge that you face can only can only only challenge the physical you that is inside the world. It can touch the inside of you. In other words, it's telling you, God is saying to you today, make no decisions based off what you experience in your flesh. Because there's a greater you inside that can't be challenged. Now, Bible says this in Romans 8 as well, the 12th verse. It says, you don't owe anything to your flesh. In other words, no matter what someone say to you and no matter what your flesh tell you to say back, you are not obligated to even respond to what they say. You got to govern everything by the greater you. That's the he that is in me that's greater than the physical me that is about to face this very challenging work week. This is so interesting because let me let me let me unpack just a little bit more. In your flesh which is the he that is in the world, you don't have any experience in your flesh. So you can't judge anything based off what happened last week because it cannot house experience. This flesh cannot house experience. It, it, it's never going to be experienced. You have no experience in your flesh. You only have experiences. You only have an experience in your flesh. Your experience is in the inner me or in your spirit. So you got to let it govern how you react to everything. It's the all-knowing. It's the part that can forgive people. It's the part that can discern spirits that are that are about to come that try to entrap the outer you or the he that is going into the world. This is very powerful. Why am I being challenged by the world? Because you're in it, but you're not of it. You know that this world cannot figure you out it can't figure you out this is so interesting why because it's just like jesus when he encountered in mark the first chapter when he encountered the the, the demon 
uh, when he, he 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 looks at this this physical being and saying it's God, it's the inner, it has an inner uh, power, but it's showing up in a physical being, and so it tries to challenge, but it knows that it can never challenge the inner you. It can only challenge the outer you. So what you're about to experience, you are in something that is going to challenge, but it knows it can't get to your inner. The greater, because the greater you have no rival, it's, it's only going to challenge the outer you. So I don't want you to react today to anything that is said to the physical you. Because it is iffy. Because it is emotional. Because it might do something crazy. And I don't want you to feel bad. Because if you do, I'm telling you up front, if you uh, 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 react based off what the outer you experience, then you might see some chaos. But if you let the inner man, the greater one, rule your day, you are not obligated. You can walk through this day. You can live this moment. You can go through today. Man, you are so incredibly and so wonderfully made by God that not only does the devil not like you, the angels can't figure you out either. That's why they said, what is this man? What is, th what is this person, God, that you are so mindful of them? It's because there's a greater that's inside you that is greater than he that is about to face this world. I want you to enter this week with a greater determination that you might wound my outer or the heat that's in the world, but you cannot touch the inner me. And I'm going to live from the inside because I'm much greater on the inside than I ever could be on the outside. Don't you feel bad if something penetrates and hurt the physical? That's not the greater you. That's the lesser you. Remember that you are so great on the inside and you're going to make all your decisions based on what the greater you has decided. I just want you to have the most uh, a blessed week that you could have. I want you to govern by the greatness that is you. The greater one is inside of you that is much greater than he that is about to face this work week. Go and be great this week. Pastor G is out.